moving around. We reckon it's over in this direction. So mission, find our first magic harp. Go, go, go. The plot thickens. There's two magic harps nearby. We're literally wandering around like big buffoons trying to freaking find these magic harps. Hey, look what we've tracked down. So I found the magic harp. And as I said earlier, basically everything syncs up. Here we go. So it's a 31 magic harp. Let's go. Yo, 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 yo. Did you capture yours? Ooh. I'm frozen. Claire's caught her <laughs> magic harp. Can I catch mine? That is the question. Two worlds. Hey! Very first magic harp added to the Pokedex, baby. Let's go. Now, how many? This is the question, right? I think it's going to be 50. <gasps> how many? No. Oh. No. No wonder we've 100. never seen a Gyarados. It's full 100. That's 100. And 50 magic hearts you'd have to capture. What? Level 7, boys! So, literally early in this vlog, Claire and I was like, we'd never seen a Gyarados before. No one's tweeted me a Gyarados before. I've done the math, I said 150, that's not quite right. I think you need about 101 magic hearts. So, 100 would be three candies each time you catch them. You then discard all of those hundreds to get a bonus candy, and then you'd need the final one to actually evolve it. So, 101 magic hearts. I, what? If, if anyone does that, we can send it to me, alright? The biggest problem with this app is that if you ever lose signal, which I just did a second ago, like, you can't do anything, so just use an incense. And boys, it's the second magic cup, let's go! Uh, is this, is this a glitched fight? There's nothing to throw a Pokeball at. Yo, no, 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 it's caught something. It's caught the invisible Pokeball. Nah, no, bun off. Nah, no, this app is literally not liking me today. I swear to God, this game crashing is the most annoying thing ever. But boys, we've relaunched. We've got a freaking Eevee. Let's go. So many guys have been tweeting me about this little one. Hey, another Eevee, baby. Getting that much closer to being able to evolve it. At the start of this episode, we evolved quite a few Pokemon. There's one we've been waiting for, which is actually Kakuna. So if we click on Kakuna, we've just got enough Weedle Cat. Candies. This will take Kakuna all the way to Beedrill, which will be the first time I've ever seen and definitely ever evolved it. Oh, my phone just uh, shaped me as a Pokemon outside, ready for me to battle just after this. Kakuna, become your final form and evolve into... <gasps> wow, look at that. That's sick. Beedrill looking mean, boys. And another Pokemon added to our Pokedex. Yo, 212. That's pretty good, Beedrill. I rate you. Let's see if that Pokemon's outside. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, Bunoff! No, I thought it was Dragonite! <laughs> I thought I'd found a Dragonite FML. Why did you do this to me, game? All right, so we're driving. Actually, we're stuck in a traffic jam, so it's fine. But we're driving. We found a Grimer. So being the sensible driver that I am, I've handed the phone over to Claire. Okay, my finger time. Okay, let's do this. Ready? 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 Boys. Yo, look at that. Great as well. Come on, this has got to be a Grimer capture right here. Live with you guys. One roll, two roll, three roll. Yo, boys, new Pokemon added to the Pokedex. I don't think I've ever seen anyone even tweet me that before. Pokemon caught great throw, new Pokemon. Yo, that's cool. So get that bonus XP for capturing a brand new Pokemon. That's awesome. Never seen him before. Obviously going to evolve into a mark. 50 candy, candies needed. That is sick. Unreal scenes here with Ali A live in the Audi A1. 200 CP EV. You mad right now? <gasps> no, I jumped over my Pokeball. Yo, beautiful throw. Beautiful throw. Nothing wrong with that. Do not glitch out to, on me. I beg. I beg. Why? 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 <laughs> Why? Today this app has been so unreliable. Let's see if that Eevee actually went into... No, I don't think it did. I don't think we caught it, guys. No, Eevee, why? It's all good, though. We've got this landmark near us. So let's spin this and see what we can get. It's the first time we've been here. Ah, oh, three Pokeballs. It's all right. It's all right. But what we found nearby, just up there, is an unclaimed gym. A thing of rarity nowadays. So I think we're going to head over there and claim that for us. So we're down, believe it or not, at a garden centre. How well you're doing and all of your progress. So keep on tweeting me. I absolutely love it. I'm replying to loads of you. But let's jump in the car and see what we can find today. So guys, our first Pokemon capture of the day, believe it or not, is going to be this. Believe it or not, it is a super high combat rated Eevee. Now, if I want to evolve Eevee, I need to capture loads and loads and loads of them to get all of those Eevee candies, which you saw me use to evolve the Pidgey into a Pidgeotto. So any Eevee I come across, I'm going to make sure I'm capturing it. But... I can't believe at the beginning of this episode we caught the one Pokemon that I spent all of last episode trying to capture. Ooh, that's quite good luck as well. Let's spin this around, see what we can get. Yo, as if two Pokeballs, another egg, and a revive. That is unreal. But let, let's actually catch up on the progress of the egg that we've currently got in an incubator. Ooh, so it has actually gone up a little bit. Now, I can only do one incubation at a time, obviously. But if you go into a shop and actually spend a little bit of money, you can buy incubators. Now, the one that you get given 
Seven is an unlimited usage one. Uh, these ones actually break after three usages, but it means you can be hatching multiple eggs at a time. So we're actually going to be heading to the gym, which I think is just at the top there, so just down the road. But that, my friends, is an awesome start to our Pokemon adventure. Let's head on to the gym. So we can see here that the gym is just literally down the road. Now, it actually has a Raticate on top of it, so I'm not sure what that means. So let's take a look, guys, into our very first gym. Wow, looks like you've caught a bunch of Pokemon and gained a lot of experience as a Pokemon trainer. Good, thank you. It looks like you're about to restart your Pokemon battles. Yo, our first battle. I have three excellent assistants. They're apparently excited to have you join as a team member. That's sick. So they've got Spark, the leader of Team Instinct. Next up, we've got Blanche, leader of Team Mystic. I don't know how to say that name. I'm sorry. And the final team is going to be Canadella, Team Valor's leader. So let me explain how this whole three team thing is going to work. So obviously once you reach rank 5, everyone that plays Pokemon Go will have this option to choose a team. Whichever team you side with, you are basically going to be on that team with everybody else in the world that has Pokemon Go and has gone for that team. So certain landmarks and certain gyms will be held by people in different teams. Basically you will be helping your team obtain and keep as many landmarks as possible. So I for example could choose a team, keep a landmark at the gym just here, but then someone could come along from another team, beat me and it's now their landmark. So I know which team I'm going to choose, but let me know which team you choose down below if you choose the same as me you'll be helping me and everybody on my team so join along if you want. So for the simple reason that blue is my favourite colour and that emblem looks awesome, that's cool it's Moltres, Zapdos and Articuno but I love blue so I'm going to be joining Team Mystic and helping out these guys on my Pokemon Go adventure Welcome to Team Blue, let's go boys so I'd love you guys to join me on Team Blue but let's see what we've got going on here for this gym. Alright after a lot of freaking driving I've got within radius of this gym and you have to get so close to it to actually initiate the battle and for it to allow you to do it. So, I don't know if this is going to go, but it looks like it's owned by someone that's in Team Blue already, which is awesome. They've got 184 Raticate. So, I'm not sure what this button does. Let's take a look. So, my best one is 135 Pidgey Opto. So, I'm going to assign this to the gym. Huh. It looks like, since it was already owned by Team Blue, all I've actually done is level up the gym and actually made it mine. This looks like it's locked down, and the first gym has simply been ranked up and now is owned by me and Team Blue. Blue. Um, it means that Team Blue is rocking this gym in this area. However, I have found a gym that's close by that isn't owned by anyone. So let's see if we can do that. Alright guys, we found ourselves out and about on foot because I can't physically drive my car up to certain locations and be close enough for it to register. So I've got to literally come out and find them and be close enough for this to register. So I found a new gym. As you can see on my phone right here, this one has not been registered. So I think this means I can obtain it for Team Blue and be the first person to do so. So I'm going to go up to here. I'm going to play in. Honestly, I love you, Oddish, but I don't care about you that much, and you're my strongest Pokemon at the moment, and put in Oddish into this gym. So it should now become mine. Look at that. It's my first ever. I literally own a gym in Pokemon Go. How mad is that? Representing Team Blue. So as cool as it is to have two gyms now for Team Blue, because no one in the UK actually has the app yet, no one has any gyms apart from me and a few other people that have got the game early, so I can go and beat Team Red, beat Team Yellow, and represent Team Blue. So we found ourselves in this beautiful location. You can see the flowers in the background. We've got literally an item right next to us. Let's spin that, see what we can get. Ooh, a few Pokeballs. There is another gym near me, and you know what? Since today is all about the gym grind, and I need to get that egg down in terms of distance, let's just drive to another gym and make it ours as well. Yo, check this out. Look at all the things near us. Two Pidgeys, a brand new gym, and I believe a Pidgey Otto. Let's go for this Pidgey Otto first and grab this, because if we capture him, we should get a load of those Pidgey little candies. So, I not, I'm still not quite sure how those rings work. I always try and throw it when the ring is as big as possible so the target to hit is as big as possible and I think that's how it works. So come on, come on, we need to add you to our Pokedex and get all of those PG candies baby. Let's go! Alright, let's see how many we get for getting this one. Oh, still only three! Okay, well you know what? We've got 27, so not doing too badly. It definitely looks like the Pidgeot could potentially be our first full evolution. Now, I know we haven't battled anyone, as I've explained it so far, in terms of, like, not enough people unfortunately have it right now. That's a high-level Pidgey. I'm going to throw in a Drowsy, because I don't mind... I don't really care that much about the Drowsy. What I do care about the most, probably the Pidgeotto put away, because it's such a high rank. But that's going to give us another gym, which is awesome. So, when the game comes out, someone can come along and challenge me. Hopefully, I beat them. So, what I'm going to do is actually capture these two Pidgeys just to give us some more Pidgey candies. So this gym I found is like in a garden centre or something. But look, that little ring is basically everything that is included. And I don't think this gym is close enough yet. It's telling me it's not quite close enough. So I don't, I, I've got to freaking get out of the car again and capture this gym. Alright, so hopefully you can just about see that. I literally swear.
swear to God, I have no idea where I am right now. I don't think I should be in here, but let's obtain this gym and make it ours. This game is dangerous. It's literally <laughs> making me go places that I shouldn't even have access to, but it's fun. And we're getting mad gyms. We've got four gyms under our name now. This is mad. All right, so another gym under our name. I threw in another drowsy into this one. Honestly, when people start getting the game, my Pokemon gets smashed out of these gyms. But it's going to be really competitive and really fun. And this is just absolutely awesome. The moment I want to make sure this egg hatches, I think I'm going to have to do quite a lot more driving around. I mean, I've done quite a lot. But we're only at 2.1 kilometers. Also picked up one more egg. All of them have got five kilometers for unlock. So all of these should offer us really good stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, I've popped home quickly just to look after Evie to make sure she's okay. We can't be Pokemon going all day without looking after little Easter. And I have some shocking news. Honestly, even Evie is shocked to hear this news. But she's here for support because I checked my roster of Pokemon. Pidgeotto, still there. Drowsy, still there. But look at this. Oddish, down to one HP. No longer owns that gym. Drowsy, down to one HP. Again, no longer owns this gym. Boys, we've been challenged. And that can only mean one thing. It means we need to get back out there and see exactly what's going on and who's taking on Team Blue. Boys and girls, this is where the Pokemon Masters are separated from the Pokemon Peasants, you could call them. But let me show you my phone. I've literally parked up in the middle of a forest somewhere because I've actually found a rival's gym base. And I wanted to try and battle someone today and I think it's going to go down. Take a look at this. So I parked my car up just here, literally in the middle of nowhere. Luckily, there's no one really around. And this gym is taken by Team Yellow. You know what? We're, we're all about Team Blue, boys, all right? And hopefully you guys are all about Team Blue as well. And if you take a look, this is only taken by level 100 Drowsy. So what I'm thinking is that I can't use my Pidgeotto. He's still locked in that gym. But if I heal up my Oddish, it's got a good amount of HP, really good amount of CP, and it knows a devastating Moon Blast. So this could be our first gym battle. This could be the really awkward moment where I go and take on the gym and the guy that's like taking it for himself is standing right by it because you have to get really close to it. So there's definitely going to be those awkward moments where people are battling for a gym and everyone's just standing around with their phones like, it's mine. <laughs> So it appears, my friends, a gym that is right in front of us is this actually quite suitable little he place here, which does actually and probably could get away with being a gym if you have someone fighting on that side, fighting to that side. So let's do this. All right, first off, we've got to make sure we're fully prepared. So let's use this potion on Oddish. Since we're going to take it seriously, let's get Oddish all the way up to full and make sure, there we go, that he is fully prepared for this. Let's take on this Raticate and see what happens. Yo, I am mad hyped. Where's the sound, boys? Where's the sound? There we go. It's what I'm talking about. All right, Kaiser64. I'm here to take your spot, my friend. This is gonna be so sick. All right, Oddish. Wait, 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 wait. Do I need a squad? All right, I don't know if I'm about to use my whole squad or just one, but I, I don't know. Let's just do... Yo, is this mad? All right, first battle ever. Oddish against Drowsy. How is this going to go? This is mad. Am I gonna... Yo, 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 chill, 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 chill. All right, yo, yo, yo. How do I attack? How do I attack? Yo, 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 chill, 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 chill. Attack, attack. Okay, there we go. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Attack, attack, attack. Oh my God, what the hell? Yo, yo, fear. Oh, it is literally a whole squad battle. What is life? Where's my 60 attack? Where's my mad 60 attack gone? Oh my gosh. Okay, down to Pidgey. It's all right. It's all good. Yo. Oh my god. We're getting... No, this is not even funny. Wait, I won. Okay. A oh, battle. Battle two. No, no. This is bad. This is bad. All right. Okay. I don't know what on earth is going on here, but this is madness right now. Nah, this is definitely going to be a loss for Team Blue, innit? <laughs> Come on, Evie. I believe in you. Oh my god. I'm going to have to heal so many of my Pokemon after this. <laughs> 180 points? What the heck? This Raticate is devastating, man. Absolutely devastating. I think we've taken it down. Just Jeebus, man. Whew. All right, two of them down. Yo, what? I won. What? 